Hello, my name is Jennifer Rasmussen, and my poster presentation is entitled Advancing Environmental Justice Through the Integration of Traditional Ecological Knowledge into Environmental Policy. Everything that makes up the environment, plants, animals, insects, bacteria, and other organisms, is integral to the overall health and well being of all inhabitants of this planet. First Nations people in Canada believe that every being has a purpose deserves to be respected and cared for, and has a significant role to play in life. This powerful outlook embraces the idea that all people are connected to their communities, ancestors, the lands on which they live, future generations, and all the animals and plants that reside on their lands. Earth is currently experiencing what many scientists call a sixth mass extinction, driven by ecosystem-destroying human-induced changes, such as fossil fuel emissions, deforestation practices, and changes in land use. Unless these practices cease or drastically reduce, climate change and other environmental destruction will continue to affect the habitats of numerous species, leading many to extinction. Protecting all life forms on Earth is crucial. As the planet faces more frequent and severe threats due to climate change, Environmental justice will be critical to ensure that all people worldwide are receiving adequate care and attention. It is an unfortunate and infuriating truth that climate change disproportionately affects low-income communities and communities of color, including indigenous communities, who experience climate change and other ecological disasters at a greater intensity when compared to non-indigenous populations. While the world addresses these environmental crises, Greater attention needs to be put on socially and economically disadvantaged communities as they face the greatest risks based on where they live, their health, income, language barriers, and lack of resources. Areas with healthy ecosystems, in contrast, will be more resilient to climate change and can more adequately maintain the supply of ecosystem services, which is essential to the health and well being of all life forms. Biodiversity, the term used to describe the variety of all life on Earth, maintains the health and resiliency of nature. The more abundant the biodiversity, the more secure all life is. Ecosystems weakened by biodiversity loss are not as capable of fulfilling their role as ecological life support, especially with environmental degradation and overpopulation. Indigenous lands make up a small percentage of the Earth's territory yet contain 80% of the world's remaining biodiversity, evidence that indigenous peoples are among the most effective stewards of the environment. Among the reasons they are able to continue safeguarding some of the most biodiverse areas on the planet is because of their continued use and practice of traditional ecological knowledge, a knowledge that has been passed down for generations in many indigenous communities. Implementing traditional ecological knowledge has been shown to strengthen community resilience to respond to the multiple stressors of global environmental change. While Western civilization is currently employing adaptation strategies to combat climate change and other environmental crises, they may actually create more adversities for indigenous populations who are effective in conserving the environment. One adaptation solution would be to integrate traditional ecological knowledge with Western science. This holistic approach would be advantageous for all as it would blend ancient wisdom with policies and infrastructure aimed to protect the planet from worsening effects. However, in order to utilize traditional ecological knowledge, indigenous communities need to be protected and their effective ecological practices preserved. Incorporating traditional ecological knowledge into environmental policies also ensures that governmental action is effective at the federal, state, and local levels in a more just and equitable manner. Since taking office in 2021, the Biden administration has taken steps towards addressing these environmental challenges by implementing emissions reductions, promoting clean energy, sustainable infrastructure, and environmental conservation. In doing so, the administration has acknowledged indigenous-led conservation efforts and included traditional ecological knowledge into their policy proposals. But more needs to be done. Incorporating traditional ecological knowledge into policy would not only help safeguard the environment from further biodiversity loss and other ecological destruction, 
with advanced environmental justice to ensure the fair treatment of all. Thank you.